Hello my beautiful people, Coach Gabby here and I am so excited because I have a fan favorite. We are doing a at home muffin top workout. We're gonna work on that unwanted little fat that we have around the waist. We're gonna say goodbye, we're gonna burn calories, we're gonna have fun, no equipment needed. So let's get into it. All right, we are gonna be doing three sets. The first one where I explain a little bit more, walk you through proper form, all that good stuff. And the second two, less talking, more doing, enjoy the music, just get straight through the workout and have fun. All right, if you feel like three sets are too much for you, then go ahead and just do the first and the second. Um, and if you feel like you can do more, go ahead and rewind and do a fourth, okay? Always listen to your body. All right, so first, we're gonna get into a squat to rotation reach, all right? So squat position, we have our feet hip width apart, all right? In a squat, we're going to go ahead and bend down, like we're sitting in an invisible chair, but not quite touching that chair, all right? Just bending down, making sure that your knees never pass your toes and that your spine is nice and straight, okay? All right, we're never arching or rounding over, okay? We're sitting back with a nice straight spine and good posture. And then from that squat, as we come up, we're gonna actually have our hands here on our shoulders. As we come up, we're gonna twist and reach. All right, so squat and reach. All right, squat and reach. Twisting, all right. I like to bring my heel up off the floor, keep my toe there for balance, and extend, reaching up to the sky, all right? 30 seconds on the clock, choose the pace that feels most comfortable to you. That's the beauty of 30 seconds. You can go as slow or as fast as you feel comfortable. 30 seconds on the clock, feet hip width apart, and let's go. Also remembering your breath, it's super important to breathe in and out, filling your lungs with oxygen, delivering oxygen to your muscles as they move. Very good. Strong core, strong tummy. It's gonna help you balance. Very good. And you know, it doesn't have to be a very dramatic reach. You can just feel a little, little torso twist and then come back down. Last one, three, two, one. Very good, shake it out, awesome. That honestly works out your entire body. It's so good for you. Next, we're gonna be doing wide high knees. Now you see high knees um, in a lot of our videos. That looks like this, like a march. All right, but we're going to go to the side. Uh, the dancer and me just went into first position, but we are going to be doing wide high knees, all right? Like so, your knees are out to the side, not too much so where you're uncomfortable or you're falling out of balance, all right? Just a little bit to the side. If you had a mat, it would be like to the corners of the mat, all right? 30 seconds, catch your breath. And begin. Now here, you really wanna engage your core. Use your core to bring up your leg, all right? You're not coming down to your leg. You stand tall, nice, good posture, and just work out that core. Very, very good, and legs. Breathing. Very good. This is very good for the hips too. It's a nice hip strengthening and stretching exercise. All right, three, two, one. Very good, go ahead, wiggle it out and get ready for a good morning twist. Another exercise that you see often in our videos because it's so awesome is our good mornings, all right? So your feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart. And we're gonna bring our arms out. And this is the only time that we say it's okay to open your rib cage, kind of splay it out. So we're gonna open, open, open up, back bend. It's okay, your rib cage is a little bit open. And then we're gonna come down through the legs 
and then all the way back up. But this time, I'm gonna demonstrate that first, the good morning. Out, in, and then out, in. That is a good morning, but I said we're doing it with a twist. So, when you come up, back to starting position, you're gonna twist one way, and then go back for that other good morning, and twist the other way. All right, so from the front, and then the other way, and that's it, all right? We're missing some different moves, some different exercises in this workout, super fun. And 30 minutes are on the clock. Good mornings to twist. Let's get it. Don't forget your breath, very important. Don't lock your knees, make sure there's a nice bend in the knees as well. Very good. Take your time, really work through the movements. Almost there, you're doing great. Alrighty, last one, three. Two, one, and very, very good. Go ahead, bring those feet in, wiggle it out, wiggle it out. All right, last but not least, we are doing a sumo squat to cross crunch. Our feet are wider than hip width apart like last time, except this time our toes are opened up a little bit. Remember, if you have a mat, to like the corners of the mat. And we're coming down to a sumo squat, so bending the knees, they come off to the side, all right? You wanna make sure they're not concaved in. We have a nice turned out leg here, all right? And our hands are behind the back so that when we come up, we can cross crunch. So elbow to opposite knee, all right? Sumo squat and then other side. Very, very good. All right, putting it all together, 30 seconds on the clock. And let's go. All right, coming down, making sure everything is going to the side, and then cross. Very good. Even in this position, we're remembering our straight spine, tucked in tummy, elegant neck. Very good. Breathing down, very good. Almost there. Three, two, one. Very, very good. That was it. That was your first set. You know what to do. So now we're gonna go to set two. Less talking, more doing. But first, grab some water, catch your breath, and look at the time so that when you come back to this awesome workout and you no longer need the demo, you can get straight to work. All right, see you in a few seconds. my beautiful people, set number two, you know what to do. We're gonna go straight through. We have our squat to shoulder press rotation. Then we have our wide high knees and then we have our good morning twist and then ending it with a sumo squat to twist crunch, all right? Now, in position, feet hip width apart, all right? Hands on your shoulders, 30 seconds, let's go. it out. Alrighty, straight into our second exercise, our wide high knees. All right, 30 seconds on the clock and let's go. And for these, you can do your arms however you want. You can have them here so your knees can tap. All right, you can hold them out, up, or on your hips. Three, 
evening. Very good. Got this. Three, two, one, and shake it out. Awesome. Good morning. Twist. Right to it, wide legs. Let's go, 30 seconds on the clock, and begin. One, very good, three, two, one, very good, shake it out. All right, finishing strong with a sumo squat to crisscross punch, hands behind your head, feet turned out, let's go. Almost there. Think of those abs. Think of that fat melting away. Breathe. And three, two, one, and done. Very good. Breathe. Shake it out. Take a few seconds. Get some water and get ready for set number three. Hands on your shoulders, 30 seconds. Let's go. Finish it out. And let's go. on the clock and begin. Good, shake it out. Feet turned out, let's go. crushed it. Now give yourself a one of these and one of these. Like Coach Greg likes to say, don't forget to subscribe, check out our channel, all our awesome other videos, and I hope to see you on the next one.